On a clear dark night, far from the glare of city lights and the noise of civilization, the sky transforms into a window to the universe. If you look up, you might notice a faint, milky band stretching from horizon to horizon, softly glowing against the darkness. This is the Milky Way, our home galaxy, a vast city of stars swirling together in a cosmic dance that has lasted billions of years. Every star you see with the naked eye is a neighbor in this immense structure, each one a sun with its own story, its own planets and perhaps its own mysteries. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy, with a bright central bar and sweeping spiral arms filled with gas, dust and stars, an intricate structure shaped by gravity and time. Our solar system sits in the Orion arm about two-thirds from the center, a quiet suburb in this cosmic metropolis, far from the crowded galactic core. The galaxy itself spans over 100,000 light-years across, containing hundreds of billions of stars, each separated by vast unimaginable distances. Imagine, there are more stars in our galaxy than grains of sand on all of Earth's beaches, each one a potential cradle for new worlds and new beginnings. Most of these stars are concentrated in the flat disk and the central bulge, creating the glowing band we see arching overhead on clear nights. The spiral arms are stellar nurseries, where new stars are born from clouds of gas and dust, lighting up the galaxy with their youthful energy. By studying and understanding the Milky Way, we begin to unravel the story of our own origins and our place in the cosmos. Every atom in your body was forged in the heart of a star that lived and died long before Earth formed, scattering the elements needed for life across space. We are, quite literally, children of the cosmos, made of stardust, connected to the universe in ways both profound and beautiful. Our journey through the universe begins here, in this magnificent galactic home, as we set out to explore the wonders that lie beyond. The story of the stars is the story of us, a tale written in light stretching across the vast river of the Milky Way. Stars emerge from vast cold clouds of gas and dust, giant molecular clouds, the galaxy's stellar nurseries. These immense regions are scattered throughout the Milky Way and other galaxies, quietly shaping the future of the cosmos. These clouds spanning hundreds of light years contain enough material to form thousands of stars. Their sheer scale is almost unimaginable, with some clouds holding more mass than millions of suns combined. From afar, they appear as dark patches, blocking the light of background stars, but inside, the process of creation unfolds in secret. Hydrogen is the main ingredient, with dust grains of heavier elements helping the cloud cool and collapse. These tiny particles play a crucial role, radiating away heat and allowing gravity to work its magic. For a star to form, the cloud must be just a few degrees above absolute zero, allowing gravity to take over. In these frigid conditions atoms move slowly making it easier for clumps to form. A nudge, like a supernova shockwave or a passing star, triggers regions to become denser. These cosmic events compress the gas, setting off a chain reaction of starburst. These dense pockets collapse under their own gravity, pulling in more material and growing in mass. As they contract, their centers heat up, marking the first steps toward becoming a star. The cloud fragments into smaller, denser cores, each with the potential to become a star. Some will form single stars while others may give rise to entire star clusters. Like raindrops forming in a cloud, these cores gather matter, spinning faster as they shrink. Conservation of angular momentum causes them to whirl, shaping their future. This spinning flattens the core into a disk with a hot center, a protostar. Around it, a swirling disk of gas and dust may one day form planets. The protostar is not yet a true star but it's on its way. Deep within, nuclear reactions are just beginning to stir. The birth of a star is a slow, patient process taking millions of years. Over time the protostar will ignite, shining brightly for the first time. Within these clouds the seeds of new suns are sown, each new star is a beacon lighting up the darkness and continuing the cosmic cycle of creation. The protostar, shrouded in its cocoon of gas and dust, steadily gathers mass. As gravity squeezes it, the core heats up, glowing from sheer temperature, not fusion yet. Only infrared telescopes can peer into these hidden nurseries. The protostar is dynamic, blasting jets of gas from its poles and shaping its surroundings. Around it, a disk forms, the birthplace of planets and comets. The journey to true stardom is about reaching a critical core temperature. As more material falls in, the core heats to about 15 million degrees Celsius. At this point hydrogen atoms fuse into helium, nuclear fusion begins. 
This is the ignition a star is born. Fusion releases energy, balancing gravity's inward pull. The star stabilizes, shining steadily for millions or billions of years as a main sequence star. Our sun is one such star in this stable phase for 4.6 billion years. On the main sequence a star enjoys its longest most stable phase. Gravity and fusion are in perfect balance, hydrostatic equilibrium. A star's mass determines its fate, massive stars burn bright and fast, living only millions of years. Smaller stars like red dwarfs burn slowly and can shine for trillions of years. Red dwarfs are the silent majority, still burning since the universe began. Our sun is a medium-sized star halfway through its life with about 5 billion years of fuel left. During this time it steadily converts hydrogen to helium, powering life on Earth. But this stability won't last forever. When the core's hydrogen runs out, the star's life enters a new, turbulent phase. The next chapter is one of transformation and dramatic change. When a sun-like star exhausts its core hydrogen, gravity takes over and the core collapses. Hydrogen fusion ignites in a shell around the core, causing the star to swell into a red giant. Our sun will one day expand so much it may engulf Mercury, Venus and possibly Earth. Inside, the core heats until helium fusion begins, creating carbon and oxygen. This phase is brief, helium runs out quickly, the core now carbon and oxygen collapses again but never gets hot enough to fuse further. The star becomes unstable, shedding its outer layers into space. These glowing shells form a planetary nebula, a beautiful cosmic relic. At the center remains a white dwarf, a tiny dense hot core. The white dwarf slowly cools over billions of years, a silent ember of a once brilliant star. The material shed enriches the galaxy, seeding future generations of stars and planets. The death of a sun-like star is gentle but its legacy endures. Even in death stars give back to the cosmos. Massive stars live fast and die spectacularly, in a supernova explosion. After burning through hydrogen and helium their cores fuse heavier elements, building up layers like an onion. Fusion continues until the core is iron which cannot release energy by fusion. With no energy to counter gravity, the core collapses in less than a second. A shockwave blasts outward, tearing the star apart in a supernova. For a brief moment, it outshines its entire galaxy. The explosion forges elements heavier than iron, gold, platinum, uranium, and scatters them into space. Supernovae are both destructive and creative, seeding the galaxy with the building blocks of new stars and planets. The remnants of these explosions shape the future of the cosmos. Without supernovae, there would be no planets, no life, and no us. The death of a massive star is the universe's grandest act of renewal. After a supernova, the fate of the core depends on its mass. If it's between about 1.4 and 3 times the sun's mass, it becomes a neutron star, a city-sized sphere of neutrons unimaginably dense. Neutron stars spin rapidly and have powerful magnetic fields, sometimes emitting beams of radiation as pulsars, cosmic lighthouses. If the core is even more massive, gravity wins completely. The core collapses into a singularity, a black hole, where gravity is so strong not even light escapes. Black holes are invisible but we detect them by their effects on nearby matter and the intense radiation from infalling material. They are the most extreme objects in the universe, warping space and time. Neutron stars and black holes are the final silent endpoints of massive stars. These remnants shape galaxies, influence star formation, and challenge our understanding of physics. The universe's most mysterious objects are born from stellar death. In their darkness, they hold the secrets of the cosmos. The story of stars is the story of our own origins. Every atom in our bodies, every breath we take, is a direct result of cosmic events that unfolded billions of years ago. The universe began with hydrogen and helium, every other element was forged in stars. Carbon in our cells, oxygen we breathe, and the calcium in our bones all trace their lineage to the hearts of ancient suns. Iron in our blood, all made in ancient stars. These stars lived out their lives, shining for millions or even billions of years, before meeting their spectacular ends. When stars die, they enrich the galaxy with these elements, mixing with clouds of gas to form new stars and planets. This process is ongoing, a cosmic cycle of death and rebirth. Our solar system formed from such a cloud seeded by countless supernovae. 
The dust and gas that once belonged to other stars became the building blocks of our world. That's why Earth is rich in heavy elements and why life could emerge. Without this cosmic recycling, our planet and life itself would not exist. The death of one generation of stars provides the raw material for the next. Each new star, each new planet carries the legacy of those that came before. We are stardust, born from the ashes of long-dead suns. The very matter that makes us was once part of something unimaginably vast and ancient. When you look at the night sky, you see the furnaces that created you. Each point of light is a reminder of our shared cosmic heritage. The universe is not separate from us, we are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Through us, the universe can reflect on its own existence.